Titans visiting the Colts. Look, I, I asked a question on Sunday night about the Titans. You shot me down. Some would say it wasn't very nice. The people who sometimes feel like you're not very nice to me would say that. You might say you were just answering a question. Whatever it is, I bet the Colts at one and a half, and now the number's closer to pick. Money's coming in on the Colts. Uh, like what? You got the Colts at a dog? No, no. I bet the Colts at minus one and a half. Oh, so money's coming in on the Titans. The bets are on the Titans. The money are on, is on the Colts right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just, I again, another time I like this spot where we talk all the time. It's all about the number. If the summer was plus three, maybe two and a half, I'd be all over this Titans team. It's not. It's too short. It's too much of a reaction to what they did last week to Joe Burrow. And the simplest way I can break it down to people is the Titans are really, really, really good at the D tackle position. But the rest of their defense has a lot of holes and a lot of weaknesses to it. And the way you can attack it is getting a mobile quarterback outside the pocket against them. And you saw against the Browns, that's what exactly what the Browns did with Watson. And it worked really well against the Tennessee team. I really like this coaching staff for the Colts. Like, watching that game yesterday, all the positions they put Anthony Richardson in, it really looks like it's all clicking in there. Like, the same thing where CJ is being put in good positions to succeed with this Texans team. It feels the same with Richardson. And we talked about it. He had a slow start in that first half, right? It's like he's coming back from an injury. You know, these rookies are all going to hit different walls at different points. And I thought, okay, he's going to let this one slip away. It was just going to be a bad game against the Rams. And he totally flipped it in the second half and really made some incredible throws with Aaron Donald tackling him and things like that, um, which if you like film room, we'll be breaking down some uh, Richardson plays tomorrow. Um, it's It's all about – the number for this one for me where I totally get it. If you're like, well, I guess you guys always said bet Vrabel is a dog, totally fair, but it's, it's all about situations. And we faded Vrabel as a three and a half point dog against Cleveland. Like that was just playing a spot, playing the situation. It feels kind of the same here where this Colts team is better than people perceive. And Tennessee is not as good as people perceive like that, that, that Bengals team just is not the same team as they were last year. I think people need to get rid of that idea in their head right now. Like Joe Burrow clearly is not the same guy. So we're, we're buying low on a team, the Colts that, you know, they almost came back. I believe it was 23 to three or 23, nothing. And they almost came back and stole that game from the Rams. I just, I like this team's moxie and I like this number and Richardson, they keep putting him in the best position to win. And looking at this matchup, I think Tennessee's defense is really going to struggle with the playing style of Richardson. So, yeah, little little spooky taking a rookie head coach and a rookie uh, quarterback against Rabel. But I'm going to trust the number. I think it's a good spot here. So not not shocked to see that uh, it's a lot of tickets right now in Tennessee. It just feels like the Colts here are the smart play. 